So how old were you when you started playing rugby and what got you into rugby in particular? Um, I started playing rugby about eight. Um, what got me into rugby was my, my dad and my younger brother loved it. They were going to our local club all of the time, which was Tor Rugby, it was in Glastonbury. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was very adamant that all I wanted to do was football, um, but they convinced me that no rugby was a man's sport and I should do that, basically. <laughs> Alright, and we know you went to Millfield School before joining Bath Rugby, so what was the transition like from Millfield to an environment like was in the academy? Um, I think Millfield prepared, prepared me quite well. I think that um, we did quite a lot of we did quite a lot of sport at Millfield, which was clearly quite helpful to then the training load of being in the academy full time. Um, the other important thing that Millfield taught me was how to um, how to be able to hold a conversation with like people more senior than myself. So coming into this environment, I wasn't uh, as starstruck as I might have been by the bigger dogs at the club. Mm -hmm. um, but then, how did you feel the academy prepared you for playing in the senior squad? So with the big dogs that you just mentioned. Um, yeah, really well. I think the, the the club run the academy really well. So you're always um, you're in sync. You're in the training regime with the with the first team from day one. So they're uh, they're used to having you around. You're used to training with them and then the standards that they demand. So when you actually sign your first team contract, it's not as big a step as some might think because you've kind of been in that environment from day one anyway. Just just to round off, you want to tell us three fun facts about yourself. Um, my middle name is Arthur, um, I'm a big Eminem fan, and, which kind of doesn't go with having a middle name of Arthur, but, um, and I started off playing rugby on the wing. <laughs>